Came out from the bottom, going straight up to the top. To the top. Y'all niggas sleeping, yeah, he punching in the clock. And they call him Mike Van by the Lambo at the lot. And he on his gun, and it never ever stopped. Never stopped. Came out from the bottom, going straight up to the top. When you start a business, you start here. Who is your ideal client? Okay. So it's called your client avatar. And it says, a client avatar defined according to Forbes. It is a detailed profile of your ideal customer. It doesn't make assumptions or categorize people into groups. So it doesn't say they're 40 to 65 and they have an income of 75K to 125K. It's an individual versus a range, a group, okay? It's a detailed profile of your ideal customer. It does not make assumptions or categorize people into groups. The avatar focuses on one person, underline one, and outlines everything about them. It goes into much greater depth than a regular marketing persona, providing marketers with many more targeting tools. The importance of the avatar according to Digital Marketer. Sean Adams, Digital Marketer, Ryan Dice, really big internet people. They put on a lot of big shows. It says you could have the greatest product on earth, but if you're trying to sell it to the wrong person, you're never going to hit sales numbers. Okay, I got Christian Bibles and I'm trying to sell them to devil worshipers. It will not work. It's very unlikely. You can convert people, but it's just, it's gonna be challenging. In recent years, I've consulted with some of the largest producing online coaches in the world. And the first two questions generally asked by them are, number one, who is your avatar? And number two, what is your offer? Anytime you start a new business, I want you to ask yourself those two questions, okay? Here's a little cheat code, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm talking to these guys. I'm looking for, I was looking for new friends. And uh, these guys happen to be in San Diego. So I started reaching out to them. I started talking to them and uh, we never really hung out, but I was just kind of seeing who's cool, who's not cool, okay? Brian Delaney, Stephanie Delaney. This, this is a $10 million plaque, meaning he's made $10 million off of one sales funnel. Here's another 10 million, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million. He has since moved on to the $25 million plaque. So this guy's done, you know, about $100 million on the internet, which is a pretty big feat, $100 million. So when I was speaking to them, they gave me like some game and they said, Mike, um, how would you describe yourself? You know, Mike, what are some of your qualities? Hardworking, easy to get along with, you know, above average smarts, uh, creative. I just started naming all these different things. Listen to rap music, okay? He said, Mike, if you had people that you work with that were like as motivated as you, that were easy as to work with as you, that would execute on assignments as, as, as you would, that would, you know, that have these traits that you would, that you have, would you like to work with these people? I was like, hell yeah. He's like, how many people do you have right now have those traits? Like, let's just start with the ability to execute in their drive. I was like, out of a thousand people that I've worked with, 2,000 people, one, two. He's like, okay. He's like, so you would like to work with people like you, right? I was like, hell yeah. He said, dude, here's a cheat code. This guy's in Russell Brunson's inner circle. He said, your avatar is you. Okay. Kenny, you're smiling. What do you think, fam? Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely a different outlook than when I was trying to, like, right. do the assignment the first time. Like, it was definitely not in that mind frame of it just being completely, like, you know, everything related to me and what I'm doing. Yeah, it was so deep, but so simple. I was like, okay, I'm missing. I, I'm like, let me hear it one more time. What do you mean? Just give it to me. I, I, I hear you. I wrote it down. Give it to me one more time. He's like, Mike, your client avatar is you. I was like, what? And I've heard that a couple times since with some other big people. Okay, so just, just sit on that. I, when I heard that, it freaked me out. And I'm telling you, this is coming from people that have done over $100 million.